Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 3 of our series called Transfer Trial, where we go through and try new players who have signed for new clubs in the summer transfer window. And today we'll be looking at Chelsea, who yesterday have just signed Asmir Begovic from Stoke City, and I think it was around 8 million pounds, so uh, pretty good business there. And uh, a couple weeks before that, they signed Radamel Falcao on loan from AS Monaco. And the formation we're going with today is going to be the 4 through 3 the third variant. It took me a while to decide which 4 through 3 I wanted to use. But uh, I was going to use either that or the 4 2 3 one And I thought I used the 4 2 3 one earlier with Manchester United. If you haven't seen that episode, go check it out on my channel. But yeah, we're going to use the 4 through 3 spice it up a little bit. And the first player we're going with is Asmir Begovic. He's completed his move from Stoke. And I didn't realize he is six foot seven. That is insane. He is very tall. And... In game, he was very good. He was probably one of the best players uh, that played for the team uh, overall. But you'll see who the best player is in a little bit. Um, at, at right back, the, the rest of the lineup is you Chelsea usual lineup. So we're gonna have Ivanovic at right back, very solid right back. He scores a ton of important goals for Chelsea. But let's talk a little bit more about the signings now. Uh, as you all know, uh, Begovic has signed from Stoke because uh, Petr Cech was sold to Arsenal because uh, I mean he's just too good of a keeper to sit on the bench really and. I think it's a it was a good choice from the club to sell it, even though it was their rivals. I think it was a good choice to sell them sell checked Arsenal because it shows the respect that the club has for the player. Because honestly, no other it, Petr Cech is probably in my list top five keepers in the world, maybe top four also. And to let that player with so much experience, he's won the Premier, he's won the Premier League, FA Cups, League Cups, um, Champions League, of course. And to let a player like that go to your one of your rivals and strengthen them to a position that they've lacked for a, quite a years now, it, it, could, it shows the respect that the club has for the player. And I really didn't want to see him leave, but you can't really stop anything. It was either it was either sell Courtois, but Courtois is like one of the, the best young keeper in the world next to David De Gea. But speaking of young players, we have Eden Hazard on the right. Such a joy to watch. I bought him for 305k before price ranges came out. Oh man, I lost so much money. I just lost a ton of coins in general once price ranges came out. But uh, the other signing that Chelsea had made had been Radamel Falcao from uh, Monaco. And as you all know, as he was while he was at Monaco, he tore his ACL and it put a real damper on his career because before that he was at Atletico Madrid. He was on, completely on fire, notoriously known as El Tigre. He moves to Monaco. He's a he's having a pretty good season, I think. I didn't keep up with his first season there. But unfortunately, he tears his ACL, and that is going to ruin his career pretty much. Well, not ruin it. He still has a lot to prove, but that has ruined his career so far as of yet, as we have seen from him. Because his loan at Manchester United, everyone thought when he came in, he, everyone thought he was going to be absolutely crazy for them, being a goal scorer, bring some good experience to the team, and just overall do well. But um, it, that did, unfortunately didn't really happen. He didn't show... The quality he had at Manchester United, he really should have played better. But it, some people can argue that it was the first year back from his injury. He's playing in a new club. He usually plays in a one-striker formation. He's the lone striker up top, but he, he was playing with two strikers at Manchester United. And people just probably think he hasn't had enough time to recover yet from his injury. But I still I still think he should have done better. And I'm really hoping that Jose Mourinho can get the best out of him at Chelsea because I really don't want to see a player. Uh, Radamel Falcao's quality, who was once in the team of the year to be like a, a massive flop now and not be playing for world-class teams because he, he deserves to play for world-class teams. He's an amazing player. But to talk about the squad a little bit, the best player with, is definitely the man who just scored, and that is Willian. I think he definitely had the most goals scored for this team. I think he had like twice as many as everyone else, and he, okay, it was either him or Quadrado at right wing. And honestly, I usually would have gone with Quadrado, but I thought, you know what, let's try out Willian. He starts more games in real life. He's absolutely insane in real life. He does all the dirty work for the team, and he's so good. But as you can see there, it's a full legend team. I think that's the only, that game is the only game I lost along with another team I played. But yeah, Willian, he was absolutely crazy for me. I know he scored a hat-trick in one of the games, and I don't know how that wasn't a penalty there. Did you see that? He got absolutely tossed. But besides that, Willian was definitely the best player in this team. And I don't know, Willian or Quadrado. I really can't decide now because I was destined to always choose Quadrado. I didn't even give Willian a chance. But now that I've given Willian a chance, I honestly think he's better. His finishing, just everything he shot for me goes in. Look at this. 
it goes in. You'll see some more crazy goals he scores in a second. But going back to Begovic, uh, him signing for Chelsea kind of it, it kind of not disappoints me. Like I'm obviously very happy with a very good backup keeper now. Very good. Hopefully he'll progress his career. But it honestly questions like people like players' motivation to join teams now. But look at that shot from Eden Hazard. Because we all know that most likely he's going to sit on bench. And it really questions whether players of today really would rather play or they would rather just sit on the bench and get trophies and get paid. But that's going to bring an end to this episode of Transfer Trial with Chelsea. In the next episode, we're covering Raheem Sterling at Manchester City. So please like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Transfer Trial.